in 10 parents agree that balancing the amount of time spent on technology is as important as maintaining a, a healthy diet. That is 90% of all parents that agree st that stabilizing screen time is essential for our children. So why isn't it happening? Why aren't the legal protectors of our children taking full responsibility over them when they desperately need it most? As an experienced parent, I urge you, as decent people, to stop pointing fingers at the manufacturers, stop blaming the schools, because it is our duty as parents to step forward as the futures of our children depend on them. First and foremost, what does it actually mean for us to discipline our children correctly? What does it mean to be in control of our children and know where to draw the line? Well, it is crucial that our kids are growing up to respect themselves and everyone around them. Many parents think Many parents think that they are disciplining their children right. However, according to surveys conducted on this daily news, as many as 34% of 5 to 15 year olds frequently take an electronic device to different meals throughout the day. This causes limitations to the amount of time we are able to spend with our families and how we are able to physically socialise with our little ones. This intervenes with our children's future as it continues to negatively impact them mentally and physically. It is our responsibility as their legal guardian to prevent this from occurring and progressing in our home. By implementing set time limits for the amount of time spent on devices or discussing the dangers of too much screen time, will ensure that they not only put their devices down, but have a better chance at fulfilling the bliss of their childhood. Secondly, our actions influence our children's behavior, which is why it is essential that, our ch that how our ch children perceive us is in a positive way. Us as parents are eminent role models in our children's lives, which is why we should focus closely on our actions. Additionally, being the leaders in our homes means that our children are growing up in an environment that they believe is right. According to Common Sense Media's latest scientific report, 25% of parents feel that they're addicted to their mobile phones. This alone suggests that parents play a damaging role in how children act. Due to this issue, these children have valid reasoning to go onto their de electronic devices as they believe that it's all right due to their parents doing it. We need to become more responsible as no amount of discipline will work until parents will do their part fully. This skill should only be turned into motivation so we can strive to do what is right for our children. Thirdly, many, pe many parents lack the knowledge of health risks associated to addiction due to countless hours of screen time, which can potentially develop in the future. As a whole, we should be constantly educating ourselves with anything that relates to technology as the world, cu world currently revolves around it. By educating ourselves with information about technology, it ensures that we understand that it puts our children in danger if too many hours are spent. According to Gary Heitey, senior editor of, All About, of, of the All About Vision website, spending an excessive amount of time staring at a screen can cause discomfort and eye strains, as well as potentially damage, potentially damage your eyes permanently. The permanent eye damage can occur in the living tissue due to screen, screens emitting HEV lights. This suggests that we need to take a different approach on, on not allowing our children on devices for long periods of time because these are our kids that will be suffering because of our mistakes. Ultimately, before we stumble across the future, we need to focus on the present and how to take a different approach to, uh, to prioritise the lives of our children. Letting them do what they want won't resolve the issue and will instead cr create further problems. By reducing the child, the child's, the average child's seven hours of screen time to just two ensures preventing addiction, as as recommended by the AHA. To control the to control the increase of technology in our homes, we need to work towards achieving what 90% of children believe, of parents believe, because we owe it to our.